man. Street certified news. We here with the boy FBG Bigger, man. What's, What's going good on? with you, man? Shit, cool, man. You know what I'm doing, man. The trenches with it. What's going on? Talk to me. I'll talk back, you know? Man, bro. So, hey, appreciate the uh, the invite out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Cooling with you, man. Enjo enjoying the scenery, man. Tell people, like, where you from first, man. Because, like, tell them, like, where we at? Cabrini Green Projects, man. In the north side of Chicago, downtown, every Gold Coast. You feel me? The real trenches, man. You don't get more trenches than this, you know? Facts, facts. So, for people who don't know, man, um, like, let the people know, man, who is FBG Big? Shit. Yeah, BG Big, one of the realists to do this shit, you know? Representing Cabrini, rapping, trapping, kicking ass, slapping motherfuckers, regular shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I know you had just you had just had a uh you had just uh had a case and shit. I know like last year when I was trying to uh holler at you and you was on the band and shit. Can you talk about like whatever had happened with that? Yeah, I had an bitch. Motherfucker apparently said yeah, I had a gun on me, you know what I'm saying? Right here on the block and shit. Some shots went off and shit. All type of look. You know what I'm saying? Miscellaneous shit. They but try you to good. say. You good? Yeah, about I beat that shit. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of lies and shit. You know how that shit go. Yeah, nah, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. So, growing up as a child in Chicago, like, talk about that, man. Shit. What you want me to talk about? Like, you gotta. Like, go. growing, like growing up in Cabrini Green, growing up, you know what I'm saying? Just See, as a child, man. I, I can say this. Good. Clarify your question to understand how you feel me. I'm proceeding to like growing up here is different than growing up anywhere else. You feel me? Like for Brittany, we it's like our own little island, you know, like we our own natives. Like so if you from out west or up north or out south, you grew up different than a motherfucker from the greens. You know, we our own type of you know what I'm saying? We different than a motherfucker. Like ain't nobody like us. You feel me? It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you're from a project area, you get exactly what I'm saying. But at the same time, you're not from the Greens, so it's a big fucking difference. But as long as you're from a project area, you get what I'm saying. Um, bro, it's like being the last of a dying breed, Super Saiyan type shit, you know? <laughs> so what was your first memory, like, jumping off the porch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, young adolescent, really, like... Saying stepping into the streets in a, in a different way from being a child. She, you know, first stop jumping off the streets. First thing we did over here, being Papa was, then you don't ditch, catch a hike, whoop a hike, you feel me? Shit like that. Before you get to all the, you know, find ops and find out who your ops is and who, what side, what side is this, who side is that, and what you claim and all that shit. We was doing shit like that and then sports and shit. But yeah, yeah. You feel yeah, I know you play football. Yeah, I did football for a little bit. Tackle the shit out of niggas. Yeah, yeah. Freaky shit. Stop it. Stop it. So, so yeah, hey, so, typical, you know what I'm saying? Child shit, you know what I'm saying? Growing up shit. So, growing up, like, hey. did, did you know your neighborhood was, like, famous and shit? Yeah, because, you know, growing up here, it's like, main thing you do when you're growing up, you got to watch all the movies on your neighborhood in. You feel me? We got Candyman, Good Times. I think the other movie, the Blues Brothers, Cooley High, you feel me? Especially Cooley High. And the Green Culture is pretty. You feel me? All, it's like, you watch those movies off GP, you feel me? As soon as you, that's the first thing you're going to watch before you watch anything is the shit with the hood in it. Oh, um, bro. That's crazy. That had to be a good feeling, just seeing that. You know what I mean? A lot of motherfuckers don't see that shit. Man. Yeah, like, because you got to think about it. You watch Cooley High, right? You feel me? And the crew they in... On Mohawk, my crib right across the street from us. So I'm like, damn, that's the crib. You feel me? Yeah. That's little some crib they in. You feel me? Shit like that. So, motherfucker doing shit like that. So, you seen the building, how it used to be, how it ain't right there no more. So, all that should be, you know? So, well, I guess. growing up, being from like, you know what I'm saying, near north side, really like downtown, like, did you go out west and out south a lot? Like, just. Yeah, like. Kicking it and shit. That's how a lot of motherfuckers know me besides the mirrors. Like, I've been one of the. Guys that been venturing off going out west, out south, and shit like that. Like, I've been doing that because I got a lot of siblings and shit and other known, other neighborhoods that's known and shit. So, I've been bouncing around doing all that shit. But everybody know this the crib. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can bring you, baby, you know? So, how did you link up with, like, FBG? Like, FBG? Like, was that, like, going out south or bitches or rap? Like, like how you link up with them? I got up with bro them, like, 
through ducking big and that like, and my cousin Lil Jeff, you know what I'm saying? They was doing the music shit. My cousin Lil Jeff fucking with them, and we ended up tied in. And Duck little brother, Lil Chris, we tied in. We met in the birds and shit, running around doing bullshit in the birds, game banging, all type of shit. It happened to link up. Then he, all oh, this bro, man, this that that. That's thing you know. That's cuz our family already rocking. Then we just tapped in and shit. You know, made it happen. So not to not to get too far, but just like give me your feelings on when you heard about what happened to Brandon. Especially with it being so close to you know what I'm saying, where you from. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like I got that call. I can tell you exactly what I was doing actually. I was at the crib with my kids. And my big brother who passed from the uh from out west. His best friend called me like, man, you call your brother. Like, I'm like, what you mean call my brother? He like, no, nah, duck, call bro. Like, something just happened downtown, you feel me? I don't, what the fuck you mean? Like, man, just call, bro. Like, some of the guys just roll past that shit. It's a scene out there on the flow type shit. So I'm calling. Motherfuckers called me like, yeah, that's true. Get down here, get down here, you feel me? So I take my kids to their grandma, you feel me? Hop on the E-way, you feel me? I get that, you feel me? And I ain't believe it, you know what I'm saying? Folks got shot like three other times before that, so it was like, I ain't think nothing of it at the time, like, when I got the news, like, motherfuckers get shot every day, B, you know? So you thought he would be all right? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You know how that shit go. So, so what was your feeling when you, like, knew he had passed? Shit, I was there. Shit, like, at the hospital, like, well, OG, Mama Duck went up in there. She went up in the uh, hospital, whatever. It's like 100 people outside. I go inside, she coming out. I'm inside the doors, like the slime doors and shit, mercy's room. Huh, and one of those big bombers and shit. She walk up on me first. I'm like, Mom, what's up? What's going on? What's, what's with it? She look at me, she like, just had like a hard, you know what I mean? Like the, a dead look, like you knew what it was. And she looked at me dead in my face like, my baby gone, my son gone. He died at 504, 503, if I ain't mistaken, bro. I'm thinking, I have, yeah.